Sales was a collaboration of uh, lots of people, starting with the client who had a clear vision of what he wanted. Um, I mentioned bringing in the air, water and light and the idea of making the lower level an incredibly exciting level. But there were other players in this. There was obviously the craftsman, there was the interior designer, um, but there was also the team of uh, the realtors, uh, the real estate agency, Valia, who throughout the process guided and advised on market strategies, and but just, just having just a good knowledge of an input into the architecture, which help, helped as a team form this, this home. One of the concepts of this home is to do simple, bold pieces of architecture. So the interior designer, Michael Fullen, which I, I think um, did, did a great job of this bookcase, which is really an abstract piece of art in itself. It's a three-dimensional piece of art that plays on this idea of negative and positive space in much the same way that the exterior block work does. So it's this, it's this veil or this third element between solid and void that plays out throughout the house and the interior designer very cleverly did the um, took that idea and integrated it into the walls uh, of this bookcase taking the exterior architecture and bringing it inside uh, with the interior architecture and design We're now in the, in the dining room. Um, once again, because of these retractable doors, it becomes, uh, there's a blurred space and it's crossed between being inside and outside, which is the charm of living in this incredible climate here in Southern California. You can do rooms that uh, open up to, to be like out covered outdoor spaces. What I love about this space is uh, it's, it's got a functional relationship to the kitchen, but then it, it's got this beautiful engagement of the ocean on one side, but also this courtyard on the other. I love this aspect, dining here, hearing the water of the courtyard below, looking across to this um, cast block wall at one, uh, one feature there, then the feature of the living wall itself. Sort of bold architectural statements that uh, really enhance the space. So right now we're in the great room. This is the living area. Uh, we've got the kitchen area here and we've got the uh, dining room there. So while this is a, a, an open plan house, the spaces are defined. They're defined by the furniture, by the ceiling treatments, the flooring treatments, and they all interact, but in an informal and open way. The whole wall is done with glass with this back painted sensual sort of image of imagined smoke that goes all the way from the inside from this fireplace to the outside. So now we're in the kitchen, and uh, as we all know, kitchens are incredibly important spaces, and it really is the center of uh, the heart of this house. From this point here, I can see the ocean to the right, I can see the living, I can see the dining, and even when you look back this way, you can engage across the courtyard here and see the guest quarters above, which is a really a nice view in every direction you look from, this, from the kitchen, which I think is a very lovely feature of this house. This is a, a, a useful space for when you want to keep the kitchen clean and uh, maybe you've got a function and a party, you can have uh, work done back here, cooking done back there, preparation done back here and keep the kitchen area relatively clean or else use just enjoy the, the function and use both of them at the same time. It's also nice that we've got uh, a delivery entrance right here. We can see um, we've got a door that is completely secure to the outside. Uh, no one can get into the house uh, from out there and it's strictly for deliveries and we've got a dumb waiter that brings food or, or uh, park packages up and down from the garage as well. Now, this is the master bedroom and what I love about the master bedroom is from the bed you can actually see all the way to San Pedro. Right now there's about 15 container ships lined up in the um, San Pedro Harbour and you can clearly see them from the bed here. 
um, and that's made, made possible with this frameless glass system that completely opens up the corner view here to the ocean and, uh, uh, and islands beyond. When we come into the master bedroom here, the interior designer, Michael Fullen, did this wonderful thing with the mirrors where he floated the mirrors from the ceiling. He hung them from the ceiling and they actually float in front of these shutters which bring in once again this veiled light and um, give, give privacy um, but also ventilation so you can open the windows behind there and bring in light and the whole these, this layering effect of glass, shutters or louvers and then mirrors all just layered and floating is uh, quite, a, quite a powerful effect. Now we're in the, um, the covered outdoor patio area. It's really defined by this extremely large, I think it's about a 16 foot roof overhang, which defines the space. And it is a very special space, especially in the evenings as it gets colder and we've got these lovely heaters in the ceiling. This space just really comes to life. Uh, and then of course, during the day, we've got a Baja shelf right here that you can, on hot days, that you get here in Southern California. This is the spot where, where you sit with your, your, your drinks and um, dangle your feet in the six inches of water or jump into the jacuzzi or the swimming pool beyond. It all merges into, into one complete body of water. Everything's quality here. This house was, uh, no, no cost was spared. Every material, uh, every bit of construction, even what you can't see behind the walls is top quality. Even the barbecue here, the Svesfok barbecue from Europe, is just another example of every attention to detail, everything that was uh, done in this house was done top notch with top style and design in mind. Again, through this room, the floor to ceiling doors, floor to ceiling windows, clean detailing, recessed uh, base detail here, flush with the drywall, and then using again this lovely bleached oak to give it that sort of coastal and uh, warm, almost like driftwood feel. And what I love about this, this room is these exterior shutters bring in this very mysterious light into this room and practically is the aspect of privacy that they bring to the space. So you can see out that people can't see in, but I just love the quality of light that these shutters uh, evoke in here. So now we're going to go down to the, the lower level and we're going to go down the circular staircase, but I want to just bring your attention to the, the skylight. This is a 12 foot uh, diameter uh, circular staircase with a 12 foot skylight. To make a piece of glass that could span that skylight, we needed to uh, have structure, uh, structural beams to hold it. And we actually, if you look closely, we did have structural beams, but they're made of glass as well, which I think is a lovely feature. Back this way is the wet bar and games area. And once again, you can see in the three-dimensional patterned wall that the interior designer has put in here, again reinforcing uh, this idea of decorative uh, or, or architectural interior detailing, which is more than just decoration and uh, really just adds to the house and each, each element reinforces every other element in the house. You can see this living wall and one of the things that you, what, what is interesting to note with this living wall is that the glass in front of it is frameless. Uh, and what that does is it allows the eye to go from the inside to the outside and not be obstructed by a, a frame of any sort. So this, this was a, a really important detail to use this frameless glass just to so critically engage this beautiful living wall. And consistent with the idea that this, the challenge set by the client, by the owner, that the downstairs should be 
as good, if not better, than the, the main level itself where the ocean views are. I think this, this, this is the, the central, central part of the house that really illustrates that challenge uh, was achieved. From this point here, you really just get this wonderful feeling. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite parts of the house. And, and in times of the year where perhaps being on the, on the, the patio is, is it's too cold or too hot, this is the, will be the place of choice. You'll come down here and you'll hear the pond, you'll see the, the birds on the living wall, and you'll see the, the, the nature, and you'll feel just, um, it's just got a wonderful feeling being down on this lower level. This house has many different places, depending on your mood. They're almost all different vignettes, and this is a, another very special one. But what I kind of particularly like about this one is that all the materials of the house are um, represented in this space. This wall up here, you've got the wood. On this whole wall down here, you've got the Texas limestone. Behind me, we've got this concrete stone, which is this veil that we talked about earlier on. And then here, of course, the big feature wall is the uh, living wall. So this is the spa. It could be um, also used as another, another bedroom or even a, um, a games room. It, at the moment it's been used as a, a, a spa where you would uh, you got the Pilates machine and the massage here. And once again, the sliding doors that completely open up and blur the line between inside and outside with the uh, void on the right hand side and the sort of veil of the, the concrete block right here to give you an sort of a balance of, of privacy but also engaging the beauty of the courtyard beyond it. Well this is the garage and as you can see it's a very large space. Um, there's a reason for it being so large the, one of the requirements of the association here is that cars must come in, turn around inside and drive out face forward and that's really a safety feature. But the added bonus is you get these wonderful big spaces like this that can be you know, great for parties and uh, graduations and things like that. Thank you for coming with me on this tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And I want to mention that, uh, like I said from the beginning, that like most things in life, all good things uh, are, are, are quite often a collaborative effort. And this is no exception. Starting with the vision of the owner, the interior designers who worked on this, the insight and um, direction given by the real estate company Valia uh, with their marketing expertise, and then of course the, the construction people, that all the craftsmen that uh, worked on this house and made it as beautiful as it is today. So thank you to all of them and thank you.